the A-frame thing, you know, it's touchy for me because I sell them. Uh, you know, I'd like to be able to use them. But Marilyn has had this, um, Marilyn Jensen Floral, she has this chalkboard that she puts out, and that's how she advertises her specials. And she had gotten in trouble for putting that out. That's currently we don't allow. Yeah, and I we think we really that. need to address that one and, and change that because she had, we have very limited area where we can do anything in our place. And that was a place where she could at least put out a little special, and she takes it out, you know, in and out every day. I don't see why we should ban those. I think we need to, I had, we really need to address the A-frame thing. And I can see how well, it's gone out of I understand some, some probably ought to be able to do it. The problem is you can't write an ordinance that says these people can do it and these others can't. But for their sale, for their own business, on their own property, or... They but if we allow you to do it, meaning someone in your place, you have to allow everybody sure. to do it. Yeah, but and if that's what the city wants, then that's mm -hmm. what they'll get. Mm -hmm. Sandwich boards on every on every property. Well, sandwich boards, sandwich. as long as they take them in and out each night. Um, and they're taking it out in and out, because then you take them in when the traffic's driving by. Yeah, but then you have no control over if the wind blows them into the road. And yeah. those, the those are the things that the city has to decide what they're going to allow. Most cities, well, I can't even say that, I don't know. I think but I think there's probably a 50-50 split. Some cities allow, some cities don't. The, the assertion that if they're allowed, they'll be everywhere, I think is wrong, because I, I think everybody thinks they're allowed. I, I, I think if you went and asked businesses, are they allowed or not, they'd probably all say, yeah. They're just not doing it. I, I don't think that if all of a sudden they're allowed, that, you, you, that they propagate and you get millions of them. Yeah. Sandwich Where do political signs fit into this thing? They don't. Political signs are a form of speech. City can't regulate it. That, that's, a, that's a state law you're talking about or something? Well, the court system has determined that in, in court cases. There was just a recent court case oh, okay. that said one city said you can't put up political signs for elections earlier than 45 days prior to the election and they were sued and the person who sued won and the court said you can put it up anytime you want. Just not in the public right away. Yeah. They can't be in the parking strip for the right away. You can regulate size though and things like that. You just can't regulate, regulate content. Right. And then, then you, got me, you can't regulate time frames. <laughs> well listen, on this on this temporary sign thing, there's, there's two issues: temporary signs and then off-premise signs as well. So, so I don't so know how to address those. I don't think we have time tonight. Yeah. So the, the shortness of four days is super short. The, what? the, the limitation of, of four days of, of allowing it to display is, is a super short period of time. Yeah, I agree. I think it is too. If you're going to allow much too short a period of time. And. Uh, and not allowing it off premises, I think I'd rather see not allow it off premises unless you have permission from the place you're putting it. I, uh, we we had talked as NVBA as the opportunity to, to advertise would be cross promote each other. I I, pro, I provide you a sandwich board that that's, that uh, you know, promotes my business, and you provide me one and put it at each other's places and cross promote. We can afford to do that and. I think it's a good idea, and I don't know why we wouldn't allow it. Do we, do we need to start looking at maybe some of the long-term stuff now? Yeah. See if we can, I don't know how we address that, whether we get some experts in or... Yeah, I had, uh, Mr. Mayor, a, a presentation I was going to throw out tonight if there was time, but obviously there's not. So maybe if there's time, I've been doing some uh, sales tax analysis for um, some other cities in Weber County versus ours, and I'm getting some more info from Debbie that hopefully you know will be ready in two weeks that speaks more to long-term planning and some suggestions for that you know I, if there's time I'd like to put that on for next okay. you know at the end so if if these other things take too long we'll push it but yeah, I've got it we'll do some thinking if you guys have any ideas we'll do some thinking about, uh, about you know we, we keep mentioning Ron Casino but he's really a, an industrial developer we need to get Somebody else. We but have but he's tied in with uh, the funding on this, uh, the new funding that's coming through with some of the different banks that have put stuff in to help businesses get going. So, <coughs> so um, I think that Ron 
whether it's Ron or somebody that he's uh, tied in with. Uh, it is a time, I, I guess the question is, is it time that we get some of these folks to come in and start to give us some ideas as well? I think we need to, Mr. Mayor, because these things we're dealing with are, are important, but also, I mean, I don't think, if we don't come out of this recession with an aggressive business plan, I think we're going to be, you know, once businesses are looking to put new businesses places, it'll be too late if, you know, we need to come out of this recession so we have some thought and a plan ready to go, so right when businesses are putting money into new properties that we're ready. Yeah, I, I think so too, and then that ties into this possibility for an RFQ with a, to get a professional uh, planner in. So we'll, we'll start that process. One of the other things that uh, I think we need to uh, uh, look at is on the redevelopment agency, you know, if there are any properties uh, that are within the city that would still fit into the redevelopment agency where there would be some or additional funding or you know, things that we could do to help them out that uh, it wouldn't hurt to bring that uh, back on the board so people are aware of it, uh, what the timetables are, because I know that there are some timetables and some of our timetables may have expired in some areas, I don't know. And so, you know, maybe we need to look at some of those things too. Yeah, well, I think we can take a look at that. Greg, maybe you and, and uh, Dave Carlson. Can Look at what the yeah, other yeah, can look at the rules. I, I know the rules on RDAs and that sort of yeah. thing are really, really cut down. So, yeah. we'll, we'll look at it. Okay.